difference between using social media and your website for marketing let's talk about it in this video now the differences are not that vast but there are some differences that can be pros and cons depending on what platform you choose to go with for your digital marketing now with your website the difference in comparison to social media is that when you have an audience on your website you own that audience with social media you find an audience that's already on the platform and you just have to grab their attention with your content now, the pros to using social media are vast and I'm going to start talking about the social media pros and they are as followed. Audience data. Number one is the fact that social media platforms will always collect data. Whether or not there are privacy concerns, they will always collect data because social media platforms are free to use for the users. But these are businesses at the end of the day, so they have to make revenue, they have to earn income. So how they do that is through advertising and they use you, the advertiser, on the platform. And when you advertise on the platform, you find that they already have user data. They know how people behave on the social media platforms and Whatever services or products that you are selling, they know who it will align with best and they will sell those advertisements to the right people. The second thing that is an advantage with using social media is organic reach. Now, organic, organic reach varies depending on the social media platform that you use. For example, with Facebook, organic reach is significantly decreased, but there still is some uh, organic reach over there. And with TikTok and LinkedIn, the organic reach is phenomenally high. Phenomenally high. With different platforms, you find that there is organic reach that you can use so you don't really have to always use paid ads for social media platforms so that is a pro or an advantage of using social media now let's talk about the long-term benefits of using social media mainly i believe that it's relevancy i mean think about it this way coca-cola is one of the biggest brands in the planet and there are many other big big brands in the world that use social media and for the most part, even though they do sell products on social media, for the most part, they just do content marketing just to stay relevant. The reason for that is because if you have relevance, you are at the top of mind of people. And even if you are not at the top of mind of people, you are always showing in front of them. Therefore, when they make purchasing decisions, depending on what product or services you are selling, they will remember your products or your services because you are always in front of them. Now, of course, there are cons with using social media because it's not your own platform. So I'll take the lazy way out and talk about three social media cons. The first social media con that I know I've experienced many times and probably you as well is the community guidelines. Depending on your brand, the community guidelines have some red tapes on what you can talk about. So you could be a health practitioner and teaching people how to live a healthier lifestyle. But unfortunately, if you do mention the fact like such things as obesity on social media being a bad thing, they will find that as body shaming or they will find that as self-harm. For example, if you post a picture of yourself when you were overweight compared to a picture of you when you are now at a normal weight. The second con to social media platforms is the social media platform losing relevancy. Now think about it this way. If you are targeting young teenagers, how much more likely are you to find them on Facebook versus TikTok? Now the problem that comes with that is that if you had built your whole strategy on using Facebook, you now have to pivot your content style to match what is happening on TikTok. So that can be a problem creatively for content. The third thing that I think is the worst is a social media platform losing relevancy, then an audience and ultimately going out of business. We haven't really seen this with many of the major social media platforms, but this is a possibility as we have seen with MySpace and Vine, for example. So you always have to keep this in mind with any social media platform that you use. Now let's talk about a website. This is the main and my favorite pro to using a website is the fact that you own your audience data and you also own your own data. This means that you know what your audience is looking for, what they want and how you serve the content to them, whether it be by email or by getting their phone numbers or their WhatsApp numbers and sending SMSs and WhatsApp messages, redirecting traffic from the email or from the phone contact to your website and you serve the content that they've been looking for and that they signed up for. Now, with a website it's your own platform therefore your own rules apply of course within reason depending on your brand now 
because there are no rules and red tapes to what you can say on your own platform like a website then there will be no red tapes as i mentioned before when it comes to uh, health practitioners a long-term benefit of having a website is that as long as you do have the website you always have the audience yes of course some people might drop off here and there but you have the audience and it also makes remarketing easy as you already know marketing to clients that have already bought from you is easier to than marketing to clients that don't know yet about you or have not yet bought from you so with the website you have the fact that you own the audience again and you always remarket to them and the organic reach with your own website is really high especially if you've optimized your website through seo on page off page building links and and good content and the audience understands your messaging you may change how you deliver the message but they understand the messaging that's what they signed up for and they will always stay on your platform and that is pretty much the long-term benefit of using a website i'll see you in the next video and it's all the brother tepper here you remember we speak entrepreneurship and entrepreneurs mindset